Good, 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 John, good, 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 good. This laptop is loaded with coding challenges and we're giving college students up to $100 cash to solve them. Let's go find some students. What's going on guys? What's up guys? How are y'all doing? You're running away! No! You can win the money! <laughs> she saw us and immediately went that way. What are y'all doing? You're trying to get food? Yeah. You guys want to win some money to help pay for your food? Yeah, let's do it. You're going to be the guy. Hey, do you know anything about the coding or tech industry? Hell yeah, I do. Do you really? What do you know? Uh, it's like on computers and like you, you like kind of program stuff and then like whatever happens, happens. Yep. <laughs> there you go. That's perfect. You're a good fit for this challenge. Uh, what do you I, study here at SMU? Fashion media. Oh, that's sick, dude. I love, uh, I love like my shoes and I love my clothes and like I want to start my own brand. Um, maybe like... Like beast mode. But let's look at this challenge right quick. So we have this function is designed to convert Fahrenheit to Celsius. The formula for Celsius is Celsius equals five ninths of Fahrenheit minus 32. But let's take a look at this code. What's going on here? Why are we getting 201 degrees Celsius whenever we only inputted 80 degrees Fahrenheit? I'm pretty sure 80 degrees Fahrenheit does not have 201 degrees Celsius. What do you think? Um, yeah, I agree, man. That's kind of weird. That is kind of weird. It's almost like it's not supposed to be there. Yeah, there is something wrong with the code. You're right. And I want you to fix it. Okay, I'll fix it. All right. Let's fix it. Is, is this going on YouTube, by the way? Yes. Okay, perfect. We got 178,000 people going to watch you. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Pressure's all on you. Okay, I'm just going to say you're going to add 120 to 80. Okay. And make it, or 121 to 80 and make it 201 point. Uh, yeah. Two. Let's do that. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, look at that boy. See, like, okay, like, whoa. <laughs> now there are like three of them, but like, yep. I, think, I think it's valid. <laughs> it's definitely not working. Uh, 80 degrees like, Fahrenheit. I don't really know what Fahrenheit's are, to be honest with you. Like, oh, wow, okay. What's up, guys? You guys want to learn how to code? You can win up to $100. You guys want to learn how to code? No. All right. What's up, my man? Hey, man. Hey. All right. What do you study? studying law school. Law school? Do you know anything about the coding or tech industry? I have so many friends in science. Do you want to win up to $100 cash? <laughs> so I'm Olivia. I'm from China. So I moved from Beijing to Dallas last July. Nice. So let's look at this function right here. Yeah. This function needs to add two numbers. Yes. So we have the function here, but notice whenever we print this out, we get 10 instead of seven. Because if we're adding these two numbers here, we should be getting seven, not ten. Let's see. Let's look down at the bottom. Did it work? Seven. Is that, I think that's it, yeah? Five plus two? Seven? That's it? <laughs> awesome. Boom. And that's kind of how it works. Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes sense. Okay, cool. Well, you just won $20 cash. I'm going to give that straight to you. Boom. Thank you. Woo. How are you feeling? It's my first $20 in America. Really? <laughs> because I don't really use cash. Oh, gotcha. Well, there you go. Does someone want to win $100? Yes. Oh, yeah. Do you really? Yeah. Absolutely. All right, cool. All right, my man. First off, what's your name? Adam. What do you do here at SMU? Student. Do you know anything about the coding or tech industry? Zero. None. That's even better. All right, we're going to give you a couple coding challenges. If you can figure them out, you can win up to $100 cash. <laughs> Dude, I'm on shrooms right now. There's no possible. That's even better. No possible way right it's now. easier than you think. All right, ones and zeros, matrix. Let's do it. All right, my man, let's give this a shot, dude. So I'm gonna let you hold that right quick. So let's look at this code. It says fix the error, right? So we have this function here that says add numbers, num1, num2, and then we have the return statement num1 plus two. So obviously this function is doing what? Returning some numbers. And doing what with them? Adding them, yeah. Adding them together. Okay, but when we print this statement, number one and number two, we're supposed to be getting what? Uh, one and two, we're supposed to be getting three okay yeah. but if we look down here we get an error so whenever right. we print this we get an error add numbers is not defined so I want you to look at that code and fix it uh just fix it there's just no possible fucking way yeah you got it just, just fix it if this is excel I could do it but this isn't excel no it's right. excel and you're excelling <laughs> I'm failing <laughs> Why 
I didn't say it's an error. Because <laughs> you messed up. Uh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's command Z. Let's, let's uh, go. No, 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 let's. No, no, no. Okay. Relax. Okay. Don't, don't <laughs> Uh, oh, see, like, dude, we, we're getting something. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, yeah, you wanna, you wanna help All right, me? Let, let me start it from the top because he oh. really <laughs> messed it up. <laughs> So we have this function is designed to convert Fahrenheit to Celsius. The formula for Celsius is Celsius equals 5 ninths of Fahrenheit minus 32. This right here is our code. If we look at our code, there's something wrong with this because when I put in 80 degrees Fahrenheit, I'm returning 201 degrees Celsius. And we know that that's not right. Definitely not right. That's 112. And I don't think 80 degrees Fahrenheit is 112 degrees Celsius. What do you think? Yeah, I agree. I think it is, actually. You do? Let's start it from the top. So we have our formula right here. The formula for Celsius is Celsius equals 5 ninths Fahrenheit minus 32. And what you decided to do... Oh, I didn't even see that. Oh my gosh, wait, give me this. This is so easy. You figured it out? Yeah, I didn't see this up here. I'm stupid. It was code right there. Well, I didn't see that. I'm so... Okay. Okay, five. What do you do here, nights. man? Come over here. No, I, I already I fixed it. Oh my god, she fixed that it. That's the easiest thing I've ever done. I just didn't read it. Maybe I should like pay more attention. Maybe, yeah. maybe. 26 degrees Fahren or Celsius is in fact 80 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> now, you learned a lot so far. You learned a whole lot. So I went ahead. I will I tell my friend after this. I know some coding. <laughs> there you go. So great. So now you're familiar with return statements, okay? So this last challenge, we have create a return statement that converts an age to days. Okay, great, you're on the right track. So what I want you to do is I want you to take your knowledge from here where we created, a re where we worked with a return statement and I want you to create a return statement to go from age to days and feel free if you need to, to click back on here and here as you need to. There you go. Let's see. Oh, really? look at that. Man, you got that one really fast. That was one of our hardest ones. Oh, really? Yeah, you took everything that you learned and you just compiled it right into the right answer. Thank Boom, you. she got all of the code questions <laughs> right. She figured it out. Great right. job. How are you feeling? I feel good. Like, I don't, I feel smarter now. <laughs> <laughs> That's a wrap for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and I will see you in the next video. Peace.